Let's get into it. So a good offense. Where does it start? Well, the first thing that the gentleman did for that company in Akron was he declared one person accountable. And why I say one person accountable is important is what I've seen and heard is that, hey, we're all responsible for driver retention because we all touch and interact with drivers. Facts. However, if it's one piece of the job and not the focus of one person, right? If everybody's accountable, then nobody's accountable. So start with one. Company I mentioned put in a driver liaison. I see some folks, some job descriptions here where retention's in the job title. That's excellent. Those are, this is, that's an obvious one. If you're more spreading across, I encourage you to think about designating one person where this is their focus. And at the end of the day, we, they're, respond, they're accountable for it. They may not be responsible for every action, but they're accountable for the success of the program. The second is structuring wellness checks. So we, I've seen various forms of wellness checks in terms of the, for new drivers, hey, how you doing type of calls. Sometimes they're that simple of, hey, it's week one, how you doing? And they just keep it at that. And they ask every month or every 90 days, whatever the cadence is, hey, it's better than nothing. But what I'm going to share with you today are how we structured and specifically timed out those wellness checks and bring a couple of best practices from other organizations that I've seen. And the final is measure they happen. You know, I, I think you know, the the if we make it burdensome the track with spreadsheets, it can cause more problems than it's worth. But we need to know some way that these things and these activities are going on. So share with you how we did that as well. So here's a just a quick map of the structured wellness checks. So just going through line by line here. I'm going to tell you more of the story of what they look like as opposed to this. And again, you've got this as a, as a follow-up to, to study. I simplified this for just the point of a presentation, but I want you to hear the themes. The first is recruiter. The day one before orientation, I'm confident recruiters are calling them to make sure they're good, but I want to take it to the next level to say, make sure here, this is where you're going to meet you. I will be at the door waiting for you with a cup of coffee at 8 a.m. Think about it, it's like the first day of school, those nerves. They just switched jobs. Um, so they're nervous. And so take away any anxiety you can, like which door do I go into and who do I meet? These little things go a long way for that, that honeymoon experience, reducing those anxieties. Um, and if you're not sure where to start, talk with some of your new hires and just say, Hey, what were some things you wish we had told you that we didn't in the beginning? What are some things you wish you knew? 